Hey guys, I thought I'd bring you along on a little day in the life. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. We are actually going to be leaving on vacation for a week with my uh, the extended family. And so today we are gonna be packing and unpacking, <laughs> still trying to unpack our house, but mainly packing, getting ready, and just kind of hanging out around the house. So I thought I would bring you guys along with me today. You might notice I have hung some things with the help of Juan. This I'm going to make as a seasonal like decoration. So I'm still in the process of gathering different like items to hang. But uh, mainly I want to hang like my little eucalyptus little petals or leaves and um, this will be more for like a Valentine's Day display. But this is a little piece of artwork that I made before I moved to Arizona when I was going for my PhD. So I'm really, I really like this art piece. So I'm glad that we found a spot for it in our house. And then one of my dear friends, Morgan, made this for me um, at my bridal shower, I believe, uh, before our wedding. So we framed it and I'm just excited to have it in our house. I have made some progress. So I emptied out these boxes so far and they have found a new home in some of the new boxes that we got. I will be making some labels for those. And in these boxes, we will be doing Aubrey's toy rotation. So I'm happy to have those at least cleared out and hopefully I will organize her toys when we get back from vacation. Unfortunately, one of these boxes totally cracked, but I figured this would be a really nice way to pack some clothes for the vacation. And if you guys have even bigger families or whatever, like this is something that my family did growing up is we just kind of packed our stuff in these types of containers and then they stack really well in the back of the car. So it just makes life a little bit easier to go on vacation and you don't have like a million different size luggages. I did already pack or get ready Jack's diapers and then I have my clothes and his clothes packed so I think in this little container with Aubrey's stuff maybe we'll throw either some snacks or try to fit Juan's clothes in here. He may just have his own bag but honestly I am almost done with like everything for the vacation for me and the kids. Uh, I have to make sure I bring Aubrey's uh, ear infection medicine because she's almost done, but she'll finish that on the vacation. And then I have some like pain meds for her in case the ear is still hurting her. And you might hear her in the backyard. I will go out there in a second. But I have my vitamins and Aubrey's vitamins and her hair stuff. So I think for the most part, we're good. I need to get our toiletries and kind of, I was working on that a little bit earlier. It's really nice because Jack has been taking an extremely long nap today. And I've been able just to kind of go at my own pace, but like be productive and get things done. So I'm very blessed because usually his naps are like 45 minutes, but this morning it's already been like three hours. So he's, he's going to be waking up soon, but I'm thankful that he's slept a really long time. But let's go outside and check on Aubrey before Jack gets up. Hey, Obs. You having fun? Are you throwing bubbles out the window? Can you make it up your own language too? So we bought one of these like a little easy up things and we had to weight them down because it's so windy here. But it's been nice to like have a little bit of shade and have her out here and not have to worry about like sunburn and all that stuff. While I'm out here, let me show you something. So I planted some potatoes, potatoes when we were at my parents' house and they've sprouted and I'm excited for, I think when the plant begins to die off, then I harvest whatever potatoes have grown. So I'll show you what they look like now. And then when I harvest them, I'll definitely let you guys know the process. So this is my little potato plant. Um, I, I only had like two a little while ago, 
And so we have a third one sprouting up, which I'm excited about. And hopefully that means we have even more potatoes growing in there. And then my carrots were a total bust, but my ants were nice enough to give me a lavender plant. So we figured it would be really cute in this little trough once we figure out where we want it in our yard. We got our little greenery growing a little bit better on the sloped parts of our backyard. And we've been working on getting quotes for landscaping the backyard. I really want, and I've said this a lot of times, to have like a figure eight of a walkway so that the kids can ride their bikes and stuff. Yes, sweetie. Where's the stick? Uh, there's a stick right over there. Or tell me what you're making. There's a lot of that. Oh. Just like that. Fun. You have fun, okay? Aubrey really loves that table, and it has been a lifesaver for me. <laughs> Can you guys hear the donkeys? I have no idea where they are on the hill, but we hear them every once in a while. Okay, so although it may not look like it, Aubrey's room is somewhat clean. <laughs> At least the toys are off the carpet. We did put like a bunch of containers in there. And like I said, I'm just kind of waiting until after vacation to go through all of this and really organize it. I did want to share these cute little alphabet stickers. This was like from the Dollar Tree a long time ago, but I bought two of them when I saw them because I thought they were just so adorable. And they're just cute little like wall decals that are easily removable and I figured we can have some in Aubrey's room and then we'll put some in the playroom, probably, you know, just in a big long line or something like that. We did hang up some stuff over there. So let me go and show you guys that. We made our little diner corner like a donut thing. So that's this little section and maybe along this wall we'll put the alphabet. And then I don't remember if I shared this with you guys already, but we hung some other artwork pieces just kind of in that corner. But I'm still going through a bunch of kind of office-y crafty stuff. So this is taking really long because it's like, I don't, it's not stuff I want to give away, but it's stuff that I'm not going to use all the time. And it's just kind of figuring out where it's going to fit best whether it's gonna go in our closet or if it's gonna to have to be like a spot in the garage, I don't know. But while Jack is still sleeping, I did want to kind of make our green waste bucket in our kitchen a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So let's go ahead and do that. So at our sink, I've just kind of been putting like green waste stuff in this old container, but obviously just having it out on the counter is not that pretty. So. What we're gonna do is take some of this contact paper from the Dollar Tree. I like the darker wood look, and we're just gonna cover up the sides, and eventually maybe I'll make a little label for it, and just have it kind of look a little bit nicer on our counters. Okay, it took me a little bit while to actually get it to be close to perfect, but this thing won't last forever, so you know what, this will do. But honestly, I think this looks better than it would if it was just, you know, the original packaging. But it's now time to go get Jack, so let's go get him up from his nap. So before he actually wakes up, I laid him down with his head over here. He's been moving like this and occasionally will totally turn a full 180 while he sleeps. But this bed is just big enough for him to not have it bother him up here. But dude, you've been sleeping too long. You gotta start waking up. I hate to wake you up, but you gotta wake up soon, bubs. Hi, my sweet boy. You wanna talk to mommy? This poor little guy has like super dry skin where it's like cracking. I've had to put Neosporin on him and band-aids. 
And it just doesn't seem like any amount of lotion is going to help. I know. But it doesn't seem to be bothering you. It just bothers me that it's just so dry and cracky. Yeah. Yeah, you're just too cute. You're just too cute. So I don't know if you guys caught, I did cut his hair. I did a haircut video. And I really think he looks like Spike from The Little Giants. With his little, I guess Juan calls it a flat top. But I'm like, I don't want him to look like a bully. I think he looks cute, though. I think you look cute, bubs. Okay, so it's been a while since I checked in. Jack went down for a nap and then got up from a nap. Aubrey took a bath. I ate some lunch. Juan's going to be picking up. My car, I shared what with you guys a while ago, um, someone rear-ended him and my car has been like back in the shop and we got it back for a few days and then it had to go back. So hopefully it's home for good and won't have any more car issues in the future. But he's picking that up and bringing home some dinner, probably some McDonald's or something just really easy. And I did want to share, so I'm bringing um, baby powder for little Jack because I had it on hand. I know some people use like cornstarch for stuff, but I have this big thing of baby powder that I need to use up. And I'm bringing it because we're going to like a beach for our vacation. And I've seen that it's like a cool trick to get all the sand off is you just pour on a bunch of baby powder and like rub your hands and it dries up your hands, gets all the sand off. So it's kind of a dual purpose pack for us. But for the most part, I've got all of the kids stuff and my stuff packed. I just have to dry my pumping parts for the pump that I'm gonna be bringing in case I need to use it on the vacation, who knows. The only reason why I would really pump on the vacation at all is if Jack sleeps really nicely at night and maybe only wakes up once. Usually then he'll only eat from one side and then I gotta pump the other side because otherwise it would be too painful in the morning. So. I am gonna bring a pump and just gotta pack that up and then I'm pretty much good to go. So we just gotta get wand stuff packed and that's it. I'm also planning on bringing the bug bite thing. It hasn't proven to work very well for us in the past, but I figure I have it, might as well bring it just in case. Just to keep us safe, huh bubs? Yes, cause mommy gets eaten alive by mosquitoes. And again, your poor skin, it's just so cracked and dry. I put some Aquaphor on it and it looks extra horrible. Oh, I hope you get better soon. I also have some snacks and treats packed for Aubrey for throughout the trip. And then I have Juan's coffee. These are Dollar Tree containers, I really like them. His instant espresso and then his hot cocoa mix and then some powdered creamer in case we don't get to the store right away. But I... Got these all prepared, and then, like I mentioned earlier, some medicine and vitamins and stuff. Mommy? Yes? I got these in case we got a pee in an attic, and we can get a new one. Oh, that's a great idea. Thanks. That's a good idea. <laughs> yes, it is. We can make more attic and more packs of that. Great idea, Aubrey. I'm glad you packed extra undies and pants. I only got one. Mm-hmm. That's okay. It's okay. So in addition, I brought uh, her one little bathing suit and I did finish packing our toiletries. And can't forget a beach towel, of course. But I will go ahead and check in at the end of the night and maybe before if the kiddos are doing something cute and I want to document it. But let me... Uh, just get to taking care of these kiddos and I'll check in soon. All right, guys, I am wrapping up this video. It is really late. Juan and I just got finished like watching a couple episodes of this show that we've been kind of binging on lately. And the kids have been in bed. It was kind of a uneventful evening. Before Juan did get home, I was trying to clean this front room. We got a bunch of the boxes kind of out from here, so I still have a lot of organizing to do, but things are kind of getting in a place that they'll probably stay in for a while. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to utilize this room a little bit more and have the kids play in here or kid, you know, Jack's not gonna be playing in here for a while, but 
Sorry, my energy level's very low. Jack's been in bed for like an hour and a half, so I've missed out on some sleep and I'm ready to go to bed. But I just gotta put my contact paper away and then I'm gonna hit the hay. So tomorrow morning we are leaving on our vacation. The next couple of videos I think might just be some shorts of cute little Jack moments. I'll try my best to record some highlights from our trip. We're gonna be with some family that doesn't wish to be filmed. So out of respect for them, I'm you know, only gonna film my kids, maybe even Juan, I don't know. He doesn't wanna be filmed most of the time anyways either. So I don't know how much footage we'll get, but if anything, I'll try to do some either short highlights or one little video highlighting some of the things throughout the week. So stay tuned for that and there will be more different videos to come. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you are new, subscribe. I'd love to have you stick around and I'll catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.